Hi guys, so I'm doing a June favorite stay out with the first one, which is a bronzer. And I'm using this one by Arbonne. I got this in June. Um, and it's just, I apply it with my kabuki brush and it works really good. I'm not wearing it right now because I'm, I'm tan and I don't need it anymore. But um, I was using it a lot in June, like it's July now. And I got tan a couple of, of past days. And then I had my favorite eyeshadow would be um, Sadie by MAC, and that's this color. I should open it. This color right here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, that's my favorite eyeshadow color. Right this one right here, it is called Alba Botanica, and I got it at a natural food store. And it's Bloom Territance, and I like this because it has SPF in it, and it's a mineral balm, and there's it's like chemical free, and I don't like to wear chemicals on my lips and stuff like that. Okay, and the next thing I have my favorite nail polish, and it's actually kind of like two. Like in June, I was obsessed with these two colors. Like right now, I have them as orange, like that, and that's this color. It's um, Sun Kissed by Sally Hansen. And then, when I get sick of the orange, because like I'll chip or something, I put this over it, and this is Sally Hansen's Crackle Nail Polish. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this. I wish I would have had it on my nails right now, but I just painted them yesterday, so I did not put the crackle on yet. But it, like, separates it when it, it has to... And I'm not sure, but I think it has to be, like, a Sally Hansen nail polish, or, like, a good one, because I used this... Well, my cousin used this one, and it worked like crap. So, I don't know if that makes a difference. And this one is in Fuchsia Shock. And then my favorite perfume is Juice Berry from Victoria's Secret. And it just looks like this. You shake it out. And you spray it. I like to spray it in the air and like twirl around with it. This is a new thing I got in like the beginning of June, I want to say. Um, I got it at my friend's Pure Romance party, and it's Body Dew After Bath Oil Body Mist. And I got it because the lady at the party said that it's good for, like, tattoos, and I want to get a tattoo. And it's also, like, a bug repellent. And that is not necessarily true. I'm still getting bit. But it was working in June, like, the whole month, but I think the bugs just got, like, ten times worse. So, Yeah. But that works, and it smells really good. It's like pomegranate, I believe. Yes, pomegranate. Or no, grapefruit. Grapefruit. I always get those two mixed up. And then I got um, this, like, it's the same scent from the same party. It's Coochie. It's a rash-free shave cream, and this stuff works amazing. Like, you won't get any razor bumps at all. And, um... I wish I would have got the bigger bottle, but I just wanted to get the small one just to try it. And I got the small bottle, but I wish I would have got the bigger one. And this is in grapefruit too, and that smells good. It is my favorite blush, and it is Sephora Blush Me. And I really like this for like the summer because it works better with like my tan skin. Eye cream is this Mario Badesco and I got this at Ulta and I got this actually like in the um, winter time um, but I keep using it because my eyes will get really dry right here and it doesn't make them as dry and um, I'm not sure if it's supposed to help with dark circles but I think it is because I'm not wearing any concealer right now like I have no makeup on my face at all right now um, except for that lip gloss and I think they get rid of dark circles too. And it's kind of expensive, but it lasts a long time. Like I had this since winter. Favorite um, face wash is the FC5 by Arba Arbonne. And it's a purifying cleanser and toner. So what you do is like you cleanse your face and everything. And then like when you do it with a regular cleanser, mm. it really dries out your skin. And then the toner in it affects the natural oils in your skin. And then after that, I'm using um, the FC5 Oil Absorbing Day Lotion with SPF 20. And this is just like a moisturizer, daily moisturizer, and that looks good too. 
And it like, I think it came like in a pack and that's why I have all that. And I also have the shampoo and conditioner and I don't have that in here, but I'm liking that because it works really good. Like I can comb through my hair and it won't be snarly. And I'm using the exfoliator for your face and that works good too. It, it's like similar to the um, St. Ives one, like with the, that kind of scrub, acne scrub, it's like that. And then I have a favorite Arbonne, oh, a favorite concealer by Arbonne. Uh, it's this one. It works really good. It conceals all my um, blemishes. And it like, it's like creamy, but then when you put it on, it's like a powder finish. So it's pretty cool. Oh, and then this is totally random. I read a book this month, and it was like the best book I ever read. It was like... It was like sad, it made me cry, but then it like made me happy. And it's called Heaven is for Real, and it's by Todd Burpo. And I'll, I'll put that in like the down bar because I, um, yeah, I don't have the book with me because uh, I think my sister's reading it now. I don't know. We were all going in a circle. Like my mom read it, and then my sister read it, and then her friend read it, and now I read it, and now my other sister's going to read it. And yeah, everybody just wants to read it. It's a really good book. It's about like this little boy. He went to heaven and he came back and he's talked about it. I'm not going to talk about all of it, but it's a really good book. And then, uh, oh yeah, so this is new for June. I've been parting my hair down the middle. Like, I keep doing it and I haven't stopped doing it and I'm liking it. And i also been wearing like headbands and things, like or headband things with it. Um, and i also been wearing like side braids. Like a lot of those, but not today, because I'm wearing a headband. And then I really like this headband, because it has feathers right here. Yeah. This is new. I got this this month, and I, I don't know if it just came out this month, but it said new, so I tried it. It's the Got To Be Rockin' It Forever Style Stay Encore Fresh Dry Shampoo. This works really good, and it's not like, it doesn't make your hair look gray. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. It doesn't like make it look like gray like the other one does. Um... What's the other one? Trust me. No, Garnier. I think it's Garnier. So that works really cool. And then another new thing I got. I know like this is not new at all, but I did not have it. I did not have it. I saw like a whole bunch of booty, blah, 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 beauty gurus wearing or using this, and um, I wanted to get it because it it's a multi-purpose like heat tamer. It works for straightening your hair, curling your hair, and I had just a straightening one, and I try using it for curling my hair. Mm -mm, don't do not work, but it's good for straightening your hair. Um, it's this lavender spray. It's by Zum Mist. I got this set. I think like a natural food store too. Um, oh wait, here's the brand Indigo Wild, Kansas City, Missouri, and then there's a website. There, if you can read that. And a number. Um, I use this. It's like, it's not like a spray you spray on yourself. It's like for an odor eliminator and it smells like lavender and I like to spray it on my bed and because lavender helps you sleep. Um, and it also keeps bugs away. So I always spray my bed with that. This thing is this night cream and it's by Arbonne and it's the RE9 Advanced Night Repair Cream. And it just smells really good, and it's supposed to help with wrinkles and stuff. I mean, I don't have wrinkles, but I'm using it to prevent wrinkles. So I can't really tell you is it getting rid of my wrinkles because I don't have any yet. Um, but I'm not getting them, so that's good. Unless, like, I go like this. I, like, make them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that, I like that. And then, uh, the last thing I have is, like, really random. It is my New York Yankee hat because I started fishing in June. I just got my fishing license and I'm really good at fishing when I wear this hat and when I don't, I suck. So it is my lucky hat and I wear it like every day I go fishing, which is really often because we live on a lake and I catch lots of fish. So yeah, that's really random. Oh, and I actually lied. I have one more thing. My favorite song right now is by Jason Derulo and it's Don't Wanna Go Home. That song is awesome. I love it. Okay, yeah. So those are all my June favorites. Um, comment below and tell me yours or leave it as a video response. Um, I think everybody probably already did them. I'm really late at this, but yeah. If you didn't, do them. Alright, okay, bye.